I'm having quite a few clients talk to me about uh, feelings of loneliness. So I wanted to talk about how you can approach loneliness, particularly during times of lockdown. Now, I'm sure we've all felt lonely at some point, but these emotions are gonna be intensified right now for two reasons. First of all, there is the actual physical isolation and separation from those around you. But then the second reason why these feelings will be amplified is because we don't have our normal avoidance tactics readily and easily at hand. So let's talk about that. So first of all, loneliness. You might find yourself saying things like, I'm alone. I have no friends, I feel sad, no one loves me, what am I doing here? And you might find that the feelings, the emotions that you experience, there's just this, this aching either in the pit of your stomach or in the middle of your chest where your heart is, you feel sad and you just have this sense of needing, of longing. You might even experience emotions that you just can't describe or you can't put your finger on. And you might be doing things like crying or um, just finding yourself sitting doing nothing. Now during normal times, when we experience this, the likelihood is that we will go to one of our avoidance tactics. And it's gonna differ depending on who you are, right? You might drink alcohol, organize a night out with your friends. Uh, maybe you call some friends. Maybe you get on a dating app. Maybe you go on date and you might sleep with said date. You might even lower your standards just because you do not want to feel lonely. You might eat bad food. Uh, maybe you watch a load of TV. Uh, what else did I used to do? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, there's so many things. Go to the gym a lot. Maybe you throw yourself into work. Anything to just not feel this loneliness because it's too painful to feel. But when we reach for one of these avoidance tactics, it doesn't actually help us deal with the loneliness itself. It doesn't help us heal the loneliness. All it does is mask the loneliness. It puts that plaster on top and the loneliness remains stuck in our bodies. So what do I mean by that? Okay, so loneliness is an emotion. It is an energy that is asking to be experienced. Now us as divine beings, on this earth, in this lifetime, we have a job to do, which is to experience these thoughts, these feelings, these emotions, and then to send these thoughts, these feelings and emotions back up to source so that source can know itself. It's our ego that then judges these emotions as either good or bad, but ultimately, from a state of pure awareness, from a state of observation, these emotions are just energy emotion. They are neither good nor they are bad, they just are. So loneliness, um, because it's so painful, because we class it as painful and we don't want to experience it, we do something to mask it or to push it down to the subconscious because we, it's too horrible to bear. And when we do this, this emotion then becomes stuck in our body. It actually gets stuck in our DNA, in our cells. And then when this emotion or this energy emotion becomes stuck, it's then left in our body and every now and again it will reappear or it will reaffirm itself to make, to, it's trying to make itself known. It's trying to be experienced, but we're pushing it down, pushing it down and pushing it down. And then every experience that we have that involves loneliness, we're just adding on top, adding on top and adding on top. And there are different layers of loneliness, different layers of separation, because that's ultimately what we are feeling. It's separation. So the first layer of separation is separation from the goddess or from the universe or from source. 
the second layer of separation is separation from the mother, your physical mother. And then there's lots of other layers of separation that you may have experienced during your childhood or, or during your adult life as well. And because these experiences are so traumatic, as I say, we push them down into the subconscious and then they become stuck in our cells. Also, when we um, experience this separation, our heart is longing for something, it's searching for something, whether it be searching for your physical mother, whether it be searching for the goddess, for source, um, universe, uh, God, whatever, however you want to call it. So the heart is constantly searching. It's, it has a hole that needs to be filled. So how do we overcome then these feelings of loneliness during these times? First of all, we have to be willing to feel. Remember, if we go to an avoidance tactic, we're doing exactly that avoiding the feelings, masking the feelings, and the feelings will just get pushed deeper and deeper and deeper. We have to be willing to feel lonely. There's a bit of a paradox going on here, right? You know, the first thing you do when you feel lonely is you go and do something that stops the feeling of loneliness. You go and find people, or you go and do something that takes your mind off it. This does not help. Temporarily it might help, but Mm. drop my microphone <laughs> temporarily it might help but ultimately it keeps the feelings of loneliness there so we feel and we welcome these emotions we welcome the loneliness because when we welcome these emotions with enthusiasm it actually helps them to pass through the body a lot quicker and we do that we allow whatever emotion to flow through and then oh, sorry, and you'll notice that when you're feeling lonely if you just sit with that emotion eventually it actually passes this might take one minute this might take five minutes this might take 50 minutes it might take five hours but eventually it will pass it will change and this is evidence of the energy moving through the body and then we need to give our heart what it is looking for, what it's searching for. Because remember, at the original point of the separation, the, something was taken from the heart, so it's constantly searching. So we need to give that back to the heart. We need to heal the heart. And there are various ways that you can do that, but basically it's going back to that place of giving the love back to yourself from yourself giving the time and the space to look after yourself to connect to your higher self to remember the love that is already there for you and to bring that into the heart so as i say there's a paradox here we're feeling lonely so we we go to an avoidance tactic to take those feelings of loneliness away but what we really need to do is to actually go into the loneliness and to travel into the heart and to give back to the heart what it is that it's looking for. Thank you for listening. Please uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you click the bell so that you get notifications of whenever I uh, do another Coffee with Carrie or any other type of video. You can follow me on Facebook at Bright Wellbeing. You can follow me on Instagram at Bright Wellbeing. You can also join my Facebook group uh, called The Real Life Yogis where we talk about yoga in real life. So what does it look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? How do we actually do it? It's been wonderful talking to you today. I wish you a wonderful and glorious day. Thank you.